important message for His Imperial Majesty Unger Khan. His Majesty had just started down to the rocket laboratory. You can contact him there. There. The model is completed. If it works, I can begin building rocket motors on a larger scale. Professor Norton, you don't realize what you are doing. If Unger Khan succeeds in taking this tower to the upper world with all its equipment, he will destroy civilization. That's exactly what I intend to do. I hope you're enjoying your visit with your old friend. You know he doesn't recognize me. You've destroyed his mind, made a different person of him. His mind is not destroyed. I have merely transformed it to my will. When the rocket motors are completed, enabling me to carry out my plan, I may restore him to his former state. And until then, I will not allow you or anybody else to interfere. What is it? Your Majesty, I regret to report that our attempt to capture Sherrod failed because of interference by that lieutenant from the upper world. And what about Morlock? Did he fail? Worse than that. He's turned traitor and joined forces with Sherrod. An Imperial Guardsman in the enemy camp? We must act quickly before he betrays our secrets. Attack the city at once, send war chariots, cavalry, and full siege equipment. Spiritual ruler of Atlantis, I thank you. Your mighty deeds of today have entirely erased all resentment. If you had not rescued me from the soldiers of Unger Khan, my people were prepared to surrender the city in a vain effort to preserve my life. In recognition of your courage, self-sacrifice, and evident loyalty to our sacred city, I offer you command of the Atlantean army. Commander of the army? Oh boy, oh boy. I don't pretend to deserve the honor, but since it is a challenge to my loyalty, I accept. Good, wisely said. Give him the insignia of high command. May this sword serve you as faithfully as I know you will serve us. Hail the commander! A request, exalted one. Speak? I plead for mercy for the black robed prisoner, Moloch. You spared him in the arena? Therefore, his life belongs to you. What a fool you are, Moloch. You had a chance to escape. You threw it away to help that stranger. That's the least I could do. Crash Cargan defied all of Atlantis by refusing to slay me in the arena. What did it get you? On petition of Crash Colligan, commander of the Sacred Army, and by order of His Holiness, Sharon, High Priest of Atlantis, you, Moloch, are herewith given your freedom. There's your answer.
company. Dismissed. A messenger approaches. Unger Kong's entire army is advancing to attack the city. Prepare for defense. destroy all of us? You realize that the jar of such an explosion might wreck the roof of Atlantis and bring the ocean in on us? Ready, sir. Good. We'll strike for nightfall. 